Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Did you know your Mac can listen to you? I mean literally. It can actually listen to what you say and do things based on voice commands. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so to get your computer to recognize your voice, first thing to do is open your System Preferences. In System Preferences there's a preference for speech right here. Speech preferences actually there's two parts to it. We want to look at the speech recognition part. We want to turn it on. Then when we do that, this little circle appears and it'll stay whatever we do with the preferences. Then there's some settings you can do. You can choose which microphone you can go ahead and say to listen only when a key is pressed. So the key is the escape key now. So I hold down the escape key and I speak. I can also just listen continuously if I want to. I can also set a command keyword. So in other words I can say computer and then give it a command. Now I'm going to go ahead and close the preference window. I've still got this circle here. I can actually open it up uh, by clicking on the bottom and saying open speech commands window. And this is a little different than the preferences. It's this tiny little window here that lists all of the speakable commands. And it will be added onto as you have applications that use speakable items. So some speakable items you can use in general are things like insert today's date. So for instance, if I'm over here in this text edit document and I'm typing away and I basically hold the escape key and say insert today's date, here's what I'll get. Insert today's date. You can see it placed the date in there very easily. Now if we go back to the Preferences window we can see that there's more command sets we can add. All we need to do is switch from Settings to Commands and it lists some command sets including the front window and menu bar that we can add. In addition there's an Open Speakable Items Folder button. Click that and it actually goes to a folder called Speakable Items. This is located in the Library Speech folder. Now these are the different Speakable Items here. We can Look inside some of these folders, see some of the different things for different applications like Mail, QuickTime Player, and such. And this is where we also can add our own commands. So you can use Apple Script or Automator to do that and just drop them in here, create your own folder for them. I find that speech recognition works best if you wear a headset. That way the microphone is an even distance from your mouth, whereas the built in mic will change depending upon where your head moves. To show you how easy it is to create a shortcut that can be used by speakable items, let's just create a simple bookmark for a website. Back here at the Preferences window we're going to click on the Open Speakable Items folder. And there's our speakable items. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to launch Safari. And in Safari I'm going to go ahead and go to a website. Let's choose MacMost.com. Now I can drag the website from the address bar into the Speakable Items folder. Let me close the browser now. Now I've got here a shortcut link. I'm going to change that to read exactly what I want to say. So I'm going to say go to macmost.com and I'm going to spell out .com just to make it easy for the computer. I'm going to close that window and I'm going to hold down the escape key and see if it works. Go to macmost.com and there we go. It opened the Safari browser and went to MacMost.com. So you can create all sorts of shortcuts for your websites this way. Later this week I'm going to be answering some viewer email. So if you've got a question, email me at questions at MacMost.com. And do us a favor, if you enjoy these podcasts, go to iTunes and review us there. Just search in the podcast directory for MacMost. Also, Subscribe via iTunes. This helps boost our ranking in iTunes and we're hoping one day to see the front page of the podcast directory in iTunes. Tell your friends to do so too. Thanks. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.